Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad. Let's start um, some physical configuration for uh, VMware vMotion. So here, as you know, we have two uh, ESXi servers. I will use these two ESXi servers, one and two, which is uh, up, up in the second one having a, a 200.104 and this one having 200.103 and this one is having uh, uh, another uh, ESXi server we will use here as a, a free NAS okay so let's uh, uh, just connect two separate cables uh, I have two cables here one is this one so what I will do I will connect this one on the first server on the back and then I will use the uh, down ports uh, from here because it's a 1G, uh, 10G ports on the back so I will use that so let's go and do it first I will go back of my this server it's a bit hard way to go back if you see I have a one port available here so I'll connect there on my one ESXi server I'll throw on the other side so I can easily manage this cable the blue one if you see from here i'll put down sorry i have an open rack which is totally messy with the cables but anyway good to go who cares at home okay i have coming this one yalla it's reachable and i'll leave uh, two ports so i'll connect this one here in this port okay and it will start blinking okay good to go same I will use another cable for my second server so these total separate line we will use uh, to do a VMware um, vMotion so similar I'll throw inside and one link I will put on the back and one will be from here on this side okay so go and check on the back if there is any port available okay two is connected here and two is available here one and two okay I will use this one okay remove from here here and go to this one one two and second one fourth one is three okay pin is on the down use a pin here you go connected okay the third cable this one so let's move on the front again good to go so from here use this cable as well bring it on the front similar the down I will connect here another port exactly on the down so I know these two is uh, related to V motions so these two uh, we connected these two uh, ports so, okay both ESXi servers have a connectivity with the separate links so let's go on a computer to configure these ports on the switch first and then we'll go into the servers to start vMotion thank you okay here I am I will log into my switch okay okay let's see mm, these two ports are connected I saw some old configuration here on port 6 so I will delete these two as a full uh, default uh, interface range make it default 
12, 5 and 6. Okay, yeah. so I will both interface range 5 and 6, switchboard, switchboard mode success, switchboard description we will give motion okay and uh, switchboard access let's see the vlans first uh, sorry VLAN. Uh, okay we have these vlans but i will configure totally a new 200 vlan we have so 150 we'll make a 150 zero okay next we'll do interface range five and six switchboard access VLAN one by zero exit exit right okay these both in our 150 VLAN so now good to go here we'll then go into our uh, V center and we will start configuring um, our V motions okay now after all this set we'll go back to our <coughs> V center here in, I'm in the V center, so I will check my Dell, the small server which we gave a port. I, I can verify which port is connected to which interface. So um, we'll go configure. And in this, we'll go to the physical adapters. And here we can check. Okay, this one. One, zero, and Uh, between these two okay let's see we'll just figure out zero one is not we know that okay let's check this one and see if it is connected where if I go down okay for the blacks okay yeah this one see it's connected on my this switch this port number gigabit 05 and we know we connected 05 and uh, 06 now so this this adapter vmk nick one is my new uh, connected so i will use this one as uh, our v motion so first i will create a separate switch a new virtual switch i will go okay and Board group for a new for us to switch or here we can use this one VMK okay okay a physical network doctor a group handle the virtual and traffic on a okay let's go next new standard switch next okay uh, add active adapter to this switch so this one which is connected to our double verify okay yeah okay we have added this one adapter okay next we'll use v motion and we will name it Okay, connection settings. Okay, V motion. Next. Okay, static IP. We'll give one nine two dot one six eight dot like eighty one dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. 
Okay, no need to get a give a gateway or something. Next. Okay. Okay, so new switch is here. It is connected. And this is for our V motion. Okay. Similar, we have to go on our other switch. And we'll check first verify the physical adapters. And um, I'm thinking this one may be two. Let's verify. Okay, yes, is this one is gigabit six on my switch. So VM NIC two. Okay, let's go to the switches. Make a new virtual switch. Next, new virtual switch. Next. Bad. Did we give a name? No. Next. Add. Two is all available. Available. Let's verify again. Yep, it's connected to my this switch. Okay. Added. That's great. Give a name. V motion. Select uh, service. V motion no vlan id always in v motion you choose none for vlan next static ip 192.168.81.2 because that one was one 255.255.255.0 no need a gateway next next okay so our V motion is configured. So that's it. We need a V motion to configure between these two. And uh, our physical work and connectivity work is completed here. So let's focus uh, in the next video to add the uh, free NAS one uh, data store, which we will mount in these two and uh, then we go uh, furthermore see you in next videos thank you